Former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak has been sentenced to 12 years jail and he's also been fined 49 million US dollars for abuse of power over state investment fund 1MDB. You're looking now at live pictures from the court where Najib is speaking to reporters. Let's listen in. Who? Oh, what do you think of your chances of appeal? Uh, we are always positive. Uh, we believe uh, in our innocence. We believe that uh, we have a strong case. Um, but of course, we have to convince the judges. And we will do our best. Uh, Tansi Shafi'i will continue to lead the team. And uh, he is very determined uh, to, to get the outcome that we believe is only right for us. The sentencing comes just hours after the 67-year-old had been found guilty of all seven corruption charges. The trial is the first of several and centers on the transfer of about 10 million US dollars from SRC International, a former unit of 1MDB, into his personal bank accounts in 2014 and 2015. Now, Najib denied all wrongdoing and maintains he has no knowledge of the money. Our correspondent, Melissa Goh, has more on the day's proceedings. Tensions gripped the Kuala Lumpur court complex on Tuesday as former Prime Minister Najib Raza turned up for the court's decision, flanked by hundreds of supporters. Safe distancing was hard to manage, with some not wearing face masks, despite in crowded places. A few supporters were in tears after High Court Judge Muhammad Nazlan Ghazali handed down a guilty verdict for Najib, whom they refer as Bosku, or my boss, in Malay. You, you think this is fair? Not fair. That's all. Pak pejuangan kita orang bersama-sama dengan bosku dan juga yang yang lain sehingga hari ini merasa memang hampa tu memang hampa. The High Court found Najib guilty on all seven counts in the first of a series of cases involving the 1MDB scandal. He was convicted of abusing his position as Prime Minister and Finance Minister in 2011 to secure a 900 million US dollar loan for SRC International. He was also found guilty of three counts of criminal breach of trust and three counts of money laundering for the 10 million US dollars that he received in his bank accounts. Now, now Judge Mohammad Nazlan said he's not convinced that the the money was donations from the Saudi royal family. Neither Malaysia nor Saudi government, he said, has come forth to prove it. Now, he also remarked that under normal circumstances, all roads lead to Rome. But in this case, all roads lead to Riyadh. Now, the late King Abdullah, he said, merely expressed political support and never mentioned about political donations. Now, Najib, speaking from the dock, maintained his innocence, insisted that he has no knowledge of the funds in his bank accounts. He he also said that he will fight on until he clears his name. Under Malaysia's constitution, Najib can remain as MP until he's exhausted the appeal process, but he cannot contest in the next general election, even if he obtains a stay on execution. A guilty verdict does strengthen Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin's credibility and neutralise the opposition's criticism that he's not serious about fighting corruption. But it can also weaken his government that's ruling with a razor-thin majority and create more tensions with AMNO, the largest component party. Tentunya ada sesuatu yang akan dilakukan uh, oleh AMNO yang uh, bersifat uh, uh, usaha uh, bagi uh, menentukan uh, hala tuju uh, kerajaan yang ada sekarang ini. Analysts say this may trigger a snap poll, something that the Prime Minister can ill afford at a time he needs all hands on deck to counter the COVID-19 pandemic and resuscitate the economy. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.